Part 1. White Clouds. Wyvern Moon. Field of the Eagle and Lion. From on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fodlan's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. The battle of the eagle and lion is finally upon us. This is our chance to show off the results of your expert training, Professor. Have Lady Rhea and Seteth really not filled you in? Well, if that's the case, I'm happy to explain. The battle of the eagle and lion takes place every year during the Wyvern Moon. It can be best described as a mock battle between the three houses. Much like the one we had during the Great Tree Moon. Do you remember, Professor? It was certainly an unforgettable time. I've never seen anyone put away as much victory food as you did that night, Professor. This battle will take place in Empire territory, at Grander Field. In other words, far removed from the monastery. It's a mock battle between the three houses. The house that defeats the most opponents wins. Your Highness, if the rumors are true, I believe Professor Manuela and Professor Hanneman will not be joining us. Ah, yes. Right you are. Given recent events, Professor Manuela has opted to sit this one out. Since she won't be present, Professor Hanneman has decided to skip this year as well. Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. Professor Manuela! Are you feeling better already? Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield anyway. In that case, perhaps it is best that you sit this one out. Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily, or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. Oh my, look at you! If you're as confident as all that, my students will walk all over you. We have taught our students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have. So, this is to be our battlefield, Grander Field. Are you feeling confident, Professor? Excellent. That's most reassuring. We can win. I'm sure of it. After all, it's not as though we've spent the last half year sitting idle. And I'm feeling stronger this moon. 
as though I could conquer a thousand opponents all on my own. You can depend on me. I hope you know that. Well, it's about time for the battle to begin. Everyone, brace yourselves! <laughs> all I'm worried about is finding someone worthy to cross swords with. We've prepared and trained a great deal. We should be fine, right? You're always so carefree, Mercy. Don't forget we need to try our hardest out there so we can win. This is our chance to show how hard we've been working. Let's do our best. If I emerge victorious in the lauded battle of the Eagle and Lion, the ladies are sure to take notice. I'll have to go into hiding. Ugh, is that all you think about? Yeah, actually, so long as you try your hardest, frame it however you like. <laughs> I shall give it my all. No matter the battle, I will never falter. We're counting on your guidance, Professor. Let's show the world what the Blue Lions are made of! The battle of the eagle and lion is set to begin at long last. Everyone, show off the results of your dedicated training. Remember, we're not just fighting for honor. There's a prize at stake. It's almost time to begin. Steal yourselves, everyone. You all should know, I am not about to go easy on you today. As long as we can pull off the win, it doesn't matter how. Our victory must be absolute, no matter what it may take. It is time. Thank you. 
What should I do? I'll cut through. Is that all? Focused. I'm on it. I'll give it my all. Here we go. Never had a chance. Black Eagles and Blue Lions are fighting. Maybe we can sneak right past them. what I had to. Oh! 
each battle a chance to grow. A stronghold for me to seize? Splendid. There goes Lawrence acting on his own. Guess we've got no choice but to capture the Central Hill and cover it. Next time, bring your friends. The fight continues. That is that. I've improved. Is that all? I must keep aiming higher. Better be careful. I prevailed.
Should I have held back?
help me! Next.
Move carefully. Already? Have I improved some? had a chance. Give it my own. Thank you. 
choose. Thank you. I wonder how much more I can learn. Here goes. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Great chance for me to find out if the sword of the creator really is all it's cracked up to be. On that note, you'd better not surrender too quickly. Huh. Predictable. I hate to say it, but it seems we're at a stalemate. Looks like the Golden Deer won't be winning this round. <laughs> Much needed. So, it is time to cross blades. I never imagined such a day would come to pass. If the Empire and the Kingdom go to war, we'll be able to fight as much as we please. I'm sorry, but that is not something to joke about. The thought of fighting you is troubling at best. In that case, I wonder when you'll be able to stomach facing me in battle. Do you need a few moments? Yay! 
Much appreciated. Thanks. Getting the hang of this. Careful, please. I hate to admit it, but it seems this is as far as the Black Eagle House goes. That is the end of this year's Battle of the Eagle and Lion. And the winners are... the Blue Lions! We won! And judging by our performance, I'm certain we have earned the prize as well. Well done, your princeliness. I'm certainly not in any hurry to get on your bad side. I assumed you would attack us head on. I clearly need to rethink my opinion of you. Well done, Dimitri. You both deserve equal praise for a battle well fought. All three houses did extremely well. Don't you agree, Professor? Not strong enough, clearly. If there's ever a next time, know that I plan to wipe that smile from your face. In any case, I hope the day never comes when we have to put this experience to use. I wouldn't mind. I'll accept a challenge from either of you at any time. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. That is nothing to joke about. The true battle of the eagle and lion is best left in the past. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if they eventually change the name of this mock battle. How admirable, Teach. On that note, I have a proposition. When we get back to Garrig Mach, let's have a grand feast to break down the walls between our respective houses. And by a grand feast, I mean a fairly regular feast in the dining hall. You really value that kind of thing, don't you? <sighs> well, I suppose no harm can come from it. Count me in. I have no objections either. And you, Professor? Oh, well, I'm not sure that's the point. Uh, Professor, was that a joke? You look so happy. I love seeing you like this. I suppose that look on your face is just another boon from this glorious day. Perhaps the best one of all. I had a wonderful time today, Professor. As usual, I was astonished by how much you ate in the name of celebration. Really, though, I must thank you again. Our victory in the Battle of the Eagle and Lion was thanks in no small part to you. Oh? 
Yes, that is true. But it was your instruction that allowed us to reach our full potential. I feel silly admitting this now. But when you first came to lead our class, you unnerved me. You never smiled and you never showed anger either. And yet, you didn't appear to be suppressing your emotions. They just... weren't there. At first, I thought perhaps you just didn't care for us. But I soon concluded that wasn't the case at all. For the longest time, I just couldn't tell what you were thinking. It was though you had no humanity whatsoever. You're different now. In the half year we've spent together, I've seen the glow of humanity in your eyes and in your actions countless times. I am truly grateful to have had the chance to spend this time with you, Professor. Getting cozy, are we? Mind if I cut in? That's enough, Sylvain. Oh, please! I would love to join you as well! I have so many things I wish to talk to you about, Professor. Oh, me too! I have so much to tell you! And I want to thank you too. Honestly, Professor, I was only able to achieve so much because you were with us. Ash is right. You're irreplaceable to us, Professor. Yes, that! Without you, the Blue Lions... Well, we wouldn't even be the Blue Lions at all. Except for the blue part. Because we'd be sad. I suppose there are worse things than fighting at your side. I have had the opportunity to experience much. Please allow me to offer you my gratitude once more, Professor. <laughs> as you can see, you have our trust as well as our admiration. I look forward to spending the rest of the year with you. Good. Then let's give it our all this year. Anyhow, it's getting late. We had better return to our quarters and get some rest. I can only call your deeds during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion quite versatile. Comparing against their performance at the mock Battle of the Great Tree Moon, the students have grown significantly. It is clear that this is a result of your guidance. In appreciation of your efforts and to show our high hopes for the future of your students, I award you with this. Please continue to instruct your students as a model teacher. So? You've made good use of all my power after all. I would have been upset if you had failed at such an easy task. It pains me to assign such a disturbing mission to you during such a blessed moment in time. However, next month your assignment will be to journey to Ramayar Village to investigate an abnormal occurrence there. Ramayar Village? If I recall, you've been there with your father many times. I have yet to ascertain the details, but it would seem the villagers have been acting strangely. I have already dispatched the knights to verify the authenticity of this information. They should be back shortly. I suggest you begin by finding out what they have discovered. I pray this is not a bad omen. May the goddess protect you all. 